he goes, oh. so I just took this test maybe about 30 minutes ago and these are the results. And when I tell you I am in tears right now. <sighs> oh my gosh, like this was not expected. This was definitely not in the plans right now. And I'm still kind of hoping that it's not right. <laughs> I know that may sound bad, but I just had a completely different like vision and you know being pregnant right now was not you know in that plan and that's just real um huh, but I just talked to Brian and um he was at work but he's gonna leave and come here because I don't know how I'm feeling right now I'm very emotional now that I'm now I went to go get something to eat but I didn't want to, I don't know. This is just very, and like, <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go right now. All right guys, it is currently 8.39 a.m. and I am about to take another test as you can see um, I'm taking another one not only because I got these from the Dollar Tree and I just want to make sure but also um, this one that I took the one that I took um, last night um, I know that it's best to take tests in the morning it's just better calculations or something like that but nine times out of ten it's probably going to be the same so i'm just going to take this other one for reassurance but all right i'll get back on here when i'm done all right y'all so i'm about to go ahead and do the test oh, excuse me i look crusty and i'm talking low because the kids are still asleep and everybody's still asleep so And I'm doing it like I just didn't do it last night and I got positive results, but I don't know. Every time you take a pregnancy test, it's just nerve wracking, at least for me. All right. Alright, as y'all can see, I did it. And just waiting for the results and as you can see it's already showing up so freaking clear two lines oh my gosh this is pregnancy test number two <sighs> yep it's definitely positive definitely positive no way around that hmm <laughs> Alrighty. So, here's the test from last night. And now that, that second line was darker, actually. It's backwards. But last night, that's from last night. That first line was darker, I meant. And then. This is from this morning. They're both pretty dark on this one. So that's definitely a positive. No one women, sir. Can you hold, please? Yes. Thank you.
to okay. check in for an appointment? Yes. Okay, what's your last name? It's Antia, A-N-T-I-A. Are you here to see Dr. Sharif? Yes. Okay, so um, I need to tell you this. He is stuck across the street. He's in surgery right now. Um, oh. And they don't actually expect him to be back until after 11. Oh, no. So she said um, that I can transfer you over to scheduling and they can just reschedule you for as soon as possible um, to come back in. But, um, you know, they think he'll be back around 11, but they're not sure. So she said, if you just want to go ahead and reschedule, I'm so sorry. Aw, it's okay. Clearly, they weren't expecting him to be over there for so long. I'm not sure what happened, though. Aw, and there was no one else I could see today? No, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, well, I can just reschedule. Okay, thank you. All calls may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Hi, yes. Um, I was transferred. I had an appointment today with Dr. Sharif, um, but I was told he was in a surgery, so I just needed to reschedule. It's three eight ninety three. Ariel Antia. What's up, you guys? So, as you can see, it is definitely the next day. Um, I did not finish vlogging yesterday um, after my doctor's appointment. I had to go back to work and then right after work I went and got my hair done as you can see. Your girl had to do something because I'm in the process of content. I'm contemplating. I'm contemplating if I want to cut my hair or not. So, before I made any rash decision, I just went and got it braided up. So, yeah. So, I was tired. Um, I didn't really feel like um, giving you guys an update because I was just super tired. But now, I got time. So, uh, I'm about to go get comfortable, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. My uh, doctor's appointment. It went really good. Um, when I got there, um, what am I trying to say? So yes, when I got to the appointment, um, as I was explaining to y'all, uh, after I called and checked in online, they um, had me weigh my car and um, they called me whenever the room was ready. So, you know, I like that aspect of it. So I didn't have to be around people just waiting in the lobby or whatever. So they called me and I went up. Um, as soon as you even touch basically the little lobby area, they have someone there uh, checking your temperature. So they checked my temperature as soon as I walked in. And um, yeah, they took me straight so back to my room. According to my last cycle, they said that I was probably about 15 weeks. And so, because I told her my last cycle was like end of September. And um, they wanted to go ahead, with that information, they wanted to go ahead and give me a seat, not a seat, wow, an ultrasound just to make sure that like I was that far along. Because if I was that far along, of course, that would be a different conversation with the doctor. So, um, I went back into the lobby, I waited, and then they brought me in to do the ultrasound. Um, the ultrasound technician, she, conf well, she didn't confirm, the doctor confirmed that I was eight weeks and four days. 
based on like how big the baby was, but I did get to see the baby. Um, I got to hear the heartbeat. Um, it's just one baby in there, even though I feel huge already, but they said the baby is like the size of a pea, um, right now. Um, I think they said it's like eight centimeters or something. So I'm still early on eight weeks. I will be, um, nine weeks Saturday, this Saturday. So they gave me my due date, which will be August 14th. So I'm going to be pregnant again all summer. Like all of my kids, I have been pregnant through the summer, but thank God I work from home. So I won't have to go out as much or anything like that. So that's good. But yeah, <clears throat> that was exciting. So yeah, they said everything looked good so far. Um, how it's supposed to be, you know, this early on, of course. Um, I just talked to the doctor about, you know, having a tubal ligation, getting my tubes tied because it's a wrap after this. I'm done. Finito. So um, we talked about that. Um, he said, of course, since it is permanent, um, he wants to make sure that that is truly something that I want to do. So we will bring that up like as it gets closer to that time. So I was like, okay, that's cool. But my mind's made up. Sorry, dude. Um, um, and oh, my doctor. So he is the same doctor who delivered Mason. So he was my very first um, doctor to deliver my first child. So um, I was super excited. He was great. Like, he was really good. Um, so I was happy that I was able to have him again. And so, yeah, um, okay, I'll be there in a second. Close the door, Mason. Mason. Close the door. I'll be there in a second. Close the door. Okay, so, what was I saying? But yeah, um, everything went well on this appointment. I go back in four weeks, so around that time I'll be about 12 weeks. So, from there they'll do blood work. <clears throat> I don't think I'll get another ultrasound. But, yeah, I mean, it's real, like seeing the baby. It, it was really real. And I'm actually glad that I got to get an ultrasound. Because that kind of relieves some things too. But I just knew I wasn't that far along. Like, if I was, I was going to be like, dang, man. 15 weeks already. Keep you guys updated um, with this pregnancy journey. Um, this will be my last child. So, I'm excited to document it. Um, and I'm excited to take you guys along for the ride. Um, but... I've been had. I just kind of wanted to give y'all an update of how I've been feeling, you know, some of my symptoms or whatever. So, of course, after I took, well, first, let me kind of backtrack. So, in the beginning of this video, I know you guys saw like my reaction when I took my pregnancy test. So, I'll kind of explain that a little bit. So, during that time, um, I was surprised. Of course, like, I did not think that I was pregnant. Um, I had, like, A, because I just thought that my cycle was messed up. Because, you know, I was working out, I was losing weight, so I just thought my body was going through changes. Um, I had taken a plan B. <laughs> so, you know, I, I did not think that I was pregnant. And then, you know, another month kind of went by and I was like, all right, now, let, let me let me just see. And so I was really like thinking to myself, girl, you're not pregnant, but like I was telling myself that I'm, I'm, I wasn't pregnant the whole time. And so when I actually took the test and it said positive, I, woo, 
it, it kind of took me back a little bit. So, um, yeah, I was not expecting that at all. So, um, we were just not, or I was just not, Brian either, we did not have a plan to have another child, especially right now. Um, I plan to start school in the summer. Uh, I was working on my body. I was, you know, getting my body back to where I wanted it, you know. I was just focusing on, <clears throat> like, myself and my well-being and just getting myself back on track and focus and just really focusing on me um getting myself in a in a good position and so you know just having another child just wasn't on the forefront so ooh, excuse me that was definitely a, a little shocker um but of course now I have come to ter come to terms with it and I'm actually excited. I'm not going to lie. I was having like a little bit of baby fever. Um just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I kind of, you know, did want another child, but like I said, not right now, you know, not right now at all. So regardless, um that was just my first reaction. Um and yeah but anywho so since then I've just been having like the normal like normal symptoms that I've had my previous pregnancy which is um nausea but this one I will say is a little different I just feel like this it's a weird feeling like in my throat I just feel like I'm always I always feel like I'm about to throw up but I have not thrown up I've thrown up maybe tw I've thrown up twice um, in the morning and it was both before my doctor's appointments when I had one the first time that I had to reschedule and then this past time yesterday so I don't know if it was because I was just nervous anxious or what but yeah I actually threw up but of course I'm not throwing up anything it's just bile because I'm not eating anything that early in the morning so yeah um I'm also just feeling like tired. Like once I actually sit down, if I'm up doing stuff, I'm fine. But as soon as I like sit down or lay down like this and my body is like at rest, it's a wrap. Like in 15 to 20 minutes, I'll be knocked. So yeah, I'm j just tired, a little bit sluggish. Um what else oh i am constantly like spitting like i have saliva build up like crazy and i know that that is like a symptom i forgot what it's called but i did google it and that is a symptom that some women experience during pregnancy i'm hoping that that goes away um first trimester always sucks you have all these weird yeah. things i'm just excited now like can't believe it's about to be another human joining us um we did tell the kids but they don't really maverick definitely doesn't really understand uh, mason today yesterday i had showed him the ultrasound picture and he he said uh, where's the baby's face or he said where's the face i want to see the face and i said mason um it's just like a little peanut right now it doesn't you can't really see the face it has to get bigger and he said uh, later that day, later on yesterday, later that day, he asked, is the baby bigger yet? And then today he asked, is the baby bigger yet? So I can see the face. So I think he's going to be excited because now that I think about it, when Maverick was born, he was still little. So he he was like Maverick at the time. So he didn't really understand. But now that he's older. I think he understands. He's going to be more curious, asking more questions. <sighs> Maverick, I don't know, because he's the baby, and he he's every bit of the baby, and he knows it. So, how do you feel about having a baby brother or sister? I 
<laughs> you said in another video you said you wanted a baby sister. So. I want to sit there. Yeah, you jinxed me. <laughs> you excited? Uh huh. You gonna be a good big brother? Uh huh. What are you gonna teach the baby? <laughs> Listen. Hmm. Listen to her. <laughs> Listen to who? Me? No, the the baby. What do you mean, listen to the baby? Because I got to give her some milk. Oh, you're going to give the baby milk? Yes. You need a bottle. Okay. You're going to make the baby bottles when they need it? Yes. Aw. Are you going to change the diaper? I'm not a grown-up. <laughs> you're a grown-up. I know. So you, you can feed the baby, but you're just not going to change the diapers? No. I love and I'm a kid. I'm not a grown up. I know. But you can try. You might be able to do it. <laughs> yeah. To I help me out. To help you? Okay, I will try. You'll try to change the diaper? Yes. What if they poop? Uh, yes. You'll try to help still? <laughs> yes. Okay. What if they poop on you? No! Because <laughs> sometimes they do that. Every time they want to poop baby. I don't like babies. I do like sister babies, not brothers. So you don't want another. You don't want a baby brother. You want a baby sister. Yes, I love baby sisters. How do you love baby sisters? You don't have a baby sister. You got a baby brother, Maverick. I know. I'm I'm bigger, so I can get a baby. Okay. Well. I know you excited. My mommy's stomach is gonna get really, really big. No. Oh. Hey. As the baby grows, my stomach will grow. Did you know that? Yeah. And you take this off on you? Huh? You take that off? No, you leave it on. You're you gonna teach the baby your dreams? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna teach the baby how to count? Mhm. Mm Okay. Are you going to teach the baby how to say their ABCs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, guys, I see the baby go from me the wall right here. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? Every time. Yeah, they've been saying that the baby's going to, like, throw them through the window and the wall. <laughs> and the TV and the Christmas tree. And the TV. No, how is the baby going to do that? Because the baby goes, will be small. They can't pick you up and throw you, Mason. Yes. They're, They're gonna, probably big. It's going to be, it's going to be, the baby's going to be a mother and it's going to be a mother. And he's going to be bigger and he's going to be to the wall. And to the TV. No, the baby's not going to do that. Yes. Mason, stop pulling on my hair. Yes, he's going to want me in the TV. No. Yes. The baby's going to love you because no. you're you're the big brother. I know. He going to want me to the wall. <sighs> okay, we'll see. All right. Well, I'm glad y'all are excited. Yeah, we're excited. Ow! Well, I see it. <laughs> Are y'all gonna hold the baby? Um, no, no, he won't scared. He won't be scared. He or she will be scared. Yeah, and because he won't be scared. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Maverick, are you gonna help feed the baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Are you gonna help feed it its milk? Yeah. I can. Are not... you gonna help change the diaper? Yeah. No. You are. Uh, no, I'm saying. We gotta get you out of diapers. <laughs> Mason, get out. I want to talk. Oh, no. Wait, ow. Oh, no. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just imagine another one. Another one, I'm going to talk. No. I'm not saying I'm talking. Wait, Mason, you got to talk. Let Maverick finish. I want to talk. Mason, what did I say? Okay. I'm gonna feed baby and I'm gonna feed the baby. Mason, you're gonna get out of here if you keep doing that. I'm gonna feed a ba I'm gonna feed baby broccoli. <laughs> you gonna feed the baby broccoli? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, they won't be able to have broccoli yet. They just have to have milk. And broccoli. And this only I thought. Oh I Lord, no you're gonna be trying I'm... to feed the baby roof. <laughs> I'm gonna feed the baby. I can see it now. I'm gonna feed baby.
Attack. Well, y'all can feed the baby when it gets a little bit bigger. Because <laughs> I don't trust so. y'all. All right. Well, say bye to the people. Bye. Bye. Say we will see. Mason, stop hitting him. Say we will see y'all in our next video. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Oh.